ISO Elementary School. We started out investigating our precedent at the Sendo Mediatek building in Japan, designed by Toya Ito. We chose to integrate three major characteristics from the Sendai Mediatek. We, split, we decided to split the columns up per level and angle them to create strong structural support. We also wanted to incorporate the continuous slab of the floor and a feeling of transparency across the entire building. <laughs> we tested the variety of angles that the individual steel columns could be set at, which helped determine the size of the unit. We went on to test slab loads and the span that a single slab could take before surpassing the allowable deformation. Next, we were able to work on the overall design of the building. We envisioned four columns at the edges holding up multiple slabs. These columns would be large enough to become classrooms, while the open slabs in between them would become outdoor public spaces. The final configuration was a three-storey building with floor slabs that jut out. We have double height spaces as well as openings that occur in the centre of the building. I present to you our model of Kiso Elementary School. The skeleton of our elementary school was a grid divided into nine spaces. The columns were angled at the edges of each room to create a classroom space. They were the primary structural system of the building. We have three double height spaces in total, which produce large openings to allow copious amounts of lights, lighting to come through. As we modeled, we learned that it would be better to work in pieces and then bring them together.